What's up, gentle folk, gentle men, gentle women? Gently here. We're about to get another reaction. Today we are checking out Hops in Your House. I'm not hopping in your house. This is the artist Hops in and the song Your House. So yeah, we'll go check this out. This is meant to be quite a heavy hitting track, um, at least from what I've heard. So yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much more of your time. Let's just get straight to it. Let's go. This can be an emotional one, I can tell. This is gonna be an emotional track. <laughs> So his kids' parents being arrested in front of him. I know what happened. I was born inside of this shit. My fucking parents scrapping. I was mortified as a kid. Police always at my house, all because of my daddy's temper. Man, this shit been Fuck. going on about yep. as long as I can remember. He'd always blame my. Okay, so Hobson's dad. I, I don't know if this is a true story. I, I imagine it will be. Um, Hobson is about his storytelling and pretty sure sort of real life experiences for the most part. So uh, looking like his dad beat his mum at a young age and he's obviously he's had to see it experience it and yeah that's what it looks like this song is about so we'll just carry on let's see what's let's carry on continue see what's going on Mom for the shit he didn't accomplish. I'd hide in the corner like a guinea pig in the process, just knowing he about to smack the fucking teeth out of mouth. Nah, just like fucking... when it came to some type of drama, but that's just fucking arouse. terrifying. No joke. There was the moments where dad would slowly be creeping up. I would jump in front of my mama. Please don't beat her up. I ain't never spoke on this shit. The shit. memories are up. Smiles and hugs, that's just something you'll never see in us. You know the pain when your parents tell you to go and play. Then hours later, you see your mom and she got a swollen face. I hope you don't. Fuck, man. See, right. So I, I can't personally relate to this because I've not had to deal with this myself. But uh, I can't imagine what kind of pain kids and 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 that I've had to had to do had to go through to to see this kind of thing. Um, how it's impacted them years on. If if it. I don't know if it stays with you. I mean, I imagine. I imagine it will. I mean, there's there's some things that have happened in my past that have stayed with me. Um, that I remember full well. To this day, I mean, I'm I'm not going to speak on that personal shit, but. Um, yeah, not not like a not like in an abusive way. It's more like a things have been said kind of thing. Not not anyone being beat or me being beat or anything like that. It's none, none of that. It's just like, you see this kind of thing, it's it's not going to go away. I think if, if anyone watching this is or has gone through this, like, and you haven't spoke to anyone about it, like, I, I urge you to, because if, if, you've, if you've gone through this shit, if, if someone you know has gone through this shit, I can imagine it's a fucking horrible thing to deal with, horrible thing to have to sit with. So just if it's a friend, a therapist, anyone, just fucking talk about it. Get through it, get through your thoughts, get through your feelings. And hopefully you can come out at the end of it, like feeling more positive and okay. And come to sort of peace with what has happened. Um, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's good advice. Like I said, I haven't been through this, but yeah, fuck me. This is just crazy. Um, anyway, I've spoke for way too long, so let's continue. Don't relate. I just learned how to cope today from the days when I would pick up the phone okay, and say, I, I got it. played and hours later. You see your mom and she got a swollen face. I hope you don't relate. I just learned how to cope today yeah. from the days when I would pick up the phone and say, I got to leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same way. And they've been going back and forth all night. I want to stay at your house tonight. Cause I don't want to yeah. hear my dad fight. No you don't want to be around for it, would you, man? The police at the front no door. doubt. Can I stay at your house? I want to 
stay at your house tonight. I would go to school feeling so frightened, yeah, I was scared Not knowing if I'ma go home, Beat finding my mama dead Every other fucking day, dad was always losing control He was acting like a fucking they running loose in our home Man, ever since Shit, I was born, man. they was pessimistic and torn It's evident, but regardless, they never get a divorce God, I wish they got around it, just checking into some counseling We could have been a happy family inside our house again I said again, as if we ever were, that's false Shit, I dealt with growing up will forever hurt I'm lost, we were nothing like the families I used to see. Yeah, so, let's go back to what I was saying Like, the shit went through will forever hurt What I said earlier, like This shit doesn't go away it, it it will never go away, and this is why I urge people to to talk, man. Like, I know some people think talking doesn't help. There's this whole stigma behind certain mental health problems, but honestly, fucking talking this shit out can really help. Um, just ease the pain, you know. So, damn, hop, this is crazy. See on the sitcoms, we were horrible whip bonds. I can no longer sit calm. I would see that my friends had a life at home. Never were that's false. Shit I dealt with growing up will forever hurt. I'm lost. We were nothing like the families I used to see on the sitcoms. We were horrible whip bonds. I can no longer sit calm. I was sitcom, sitcom, like sitcom, like TV show, like Friends or Seinfeld or anything like that. Can no longer sit calm. Can't obviously sit calm due to the fucking trauma at home. What's going on, man? See that my friends had a life at home that was peaceful. They were lovable people who didn't function like we do. Or how I wish I could redo the pain of the wicked days when I pick up the telephone, call a friend, and say, I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy, and this ain't right. Man, and they've been going back and forth for all night. I wanna stay at your house tonight Cause I don't wanna hear my dad How fake did th Look at that man, they're not, they're not even like Hugging or any shit That's Fake That's fake as shit, you, you just know look, look how like How they stood next to each other and just You know there's there's no There's not a, fa a real family photo there I don't, I don't see a real family photo there I ain't placing the blame saying it's mama dad's fault But all those traumas I had stuck with me as an adult And it ignited these mad thoughts that I seem to have often Yeah that's Hobson, music is where my last straw went Now I'm devoted to always give you my true life The love I never felt growing up I get it from you guys Please don't get it twisted, I love both my parents to death I just think there's issues a lot of fucking parents neglect We all got these traumas we carry and sometimes it's scary Cause we bury the nest right there in our chest and we subconscious Air and project the nightmares and the stress Shit. that we dealt with when we were younger, and that's why therapy's best. Listen, if you got kids of your own, and you this throwing is, this is what I was saying like, therapy helps, man. Talking to, talking to people helps. A friend, a therapist, if you're going through shit, if, if you're watching this video and you're going through this right now, I please, I really, I really urge you to speak to somebody, even, even if you fucking jump into my DMs, man. I, I will. I will respond and help in any way I can. Like I said, I don't exactly relate to this, but I, you know, everyone, everyone has their own demons, their own struggles. And this is just a big example of struggles. A lot of people do go through. I mean, Hobson's obviously gone through this himself and it's amazing that he's, he feels able to rap and sing about this. So, yeah, man, he's obviously got the help he, or always getting the help he needs to get through it, uh, whether that's through his music or through therapy. So, yeah, man, let's just let's keep it going. Just go back a little bit. That we dealt with when we were younger, and that's why therapy's best. Listen, if you got kids of your own and you throwing tantrums, don't be oblivious and assume that it won't impact them. Children yes. Don't. In the heat of a moment, you might be angry. If you're angry in the heat of a moment, obviously things can go crazy. You just got to stop and think. 
you know, am I am I going a bit over the top here? Should I stop? Should I calm down? Collect my thoughts and then and then review the situation again. Cause like Hop said, man, like if you're if you're laying a hand on your kid or, or throwing tantrums thinking it won't impact them in the in the future, it will. And this video, this story is a fucking big example of that, man. Like, shit. Man, I don't think I've ever paused the video as much as this one, but yeah, I feel like I had to say some of these things. So, yeah, let's carry on. And follow the protocol of the parents' blueprint. So when there's an issue, they might handle it just how you did. You did. Exactly. I gotta leave here now. My mom and dad acting crazy in the same way. And they've been going back. It's just, forth, you don't want to be a constant cycle. Like, this is a different kid, and now hops in as the dad. dad like, you know? no more. I don't want to hear the police at the front door. Can I stay at your house? I want to stay at your house tonight. Your house tonight. I love it as well in this song, just talking about the uh, the beat and stuff, it's, the guitars and stuff, it sounds so cool. It's giving a more rock vibe to this song, I think. What a fucking... That's got to be one of the heaviest songs I've listened to. I, I like... A lot of people know I'm a metalhead. Damn straight, like... Metal's my shit. I love rap too. And... This could be some one of the heaviest songs I've heard, man. Like, shit. Just... The way, the way Hobson told this, rapped this, showed it, in the video it was amazing dude um i don't think there's anything else i can say that i haven't already said so just if if you agree with what i've said want to take some of the advice that i that i've given please do like you don't have to tell me about it do you know do do your own thing if you're going through shit talk to people get therapy anything you need to get yourself help um and yeah man that's it i, c I can't say anything else but this was an amazing tune so yeah that's it i'm out guys peace